Now I'm going to show you how to do the one point perspective falling background number two. So it's going to look like this. Each table should have a set of tracers. You're only going to need the smallest circle for your table number and you'll notice that they're marked with table numbers so each table has their own set. You're only going to need this one little piece for this. You are also going to need a ruler and a pencil. So the first thing you're going to do, you'll notice that there is a circle in the middle. You're going to place that right on top of the vanishing point and you are going to trace your circle. That's step number one. When you're done, you're going to place the circle back here, make sure it's all paper clipped together, and you can set that aside. Your next step is going to be doing some measuring. So using a ruler, I'm going to take my ruler and I am going to put it up against my paper. You have a 12 inch paper and I'm going to measure every two inches. Now when I measure, I'm not putting a dot, I'm going to put a little mark, a vertical mark. So I'm going to mark two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to mark the same thing on the other side. Two, four, six, eight, ten mark on the other side, turn my paper and mark two, whoops, two, I just did that wrong. I accidentally marked three, go back and erase, two, four, six, eight, ten, and my last side, again, two, four, six, eight, ten. Now what you're going to do is you are going to just like you were doing guidelines going back, I'm going to line up my vanishing point with my ruler and I'm going to place my, my ruler against my vanishing point. I'm going to go up to where that area is and I'm going to draw a line coming down. Notice I'm skipping over my shapes and I'm stopping at this outer edge of this circle. And I'm basically going to just put my pencil here and I can swing to the next one. Stop at the outer circle, pencil here, swing to the next one. Put my pencil here, swing to the next one. Making sure that you're using your ruler. And again, I am not going on top of... Please excuse the interruption. Tracy Beaverson, could you please call extension 4302? Tracy, please call 4302. Thank you. You never know what's going to happen when you're filming a video. So there's our announcement. Um, but yep, so as you notice, I'm just going, continued to go, swinging my ruler, and I'm going to do this all the way around. See a little spot right there. Don't draw on top of your forms that you've already colored in. And again, I'm only going to the outer edge. Now, once you have this done, then the next thing you're going to do is you are going to mark which areas are going to be black and which ones are going to be white. So hold on just one moment. And you know what? I just realized I forgot one other thing. It just hit me right now that I forgot to trace another circle. Now you actually need to trace two circles with your, with this particular pattern. Um, I suppose you could leave it like this, but I think, I think you really need the circle. So you're gonna be tracing, I left this out, so I apologize. You're gonna trace the small one and you're gonna trace the largest one because I realized that when we mat them on the black paper here, we, we wanna keep that round shape. So I'm gonna put this on top of my vanishing point and I am going to, whoops, it's just a tracer, don't worry if you get pencil on it. I'm going to trace this all the way around, making sure I am not tracing on my shapes, my forms I should say, because they're now forms, putting this back together. Now you're going to go in and you are going to mark, this is going to end up being black, so I'm going to make that an X. And then I'm just going to pick one, so I want this to be black, this one's going to be white, this is going to be black, this one's going to be white. And I'm just kind of putting X's so I know 
which parts are my black. So even this tiny little spot, because I don't want to miss that. White, black, white, black, white, black, white. It's really important that you mark your areas before you start adding color because I cannot tell you, okay, so like here, here I made a mistake, didn't I? I went in and I, I went into my circle and I did not put my line in here. If you don't mark your spaces, what will happen is you will accidentally color something in with a black marker that you shouldn't have. And I cannot tell you how many times that has taken place and that has happened. Um, so once you've marked everything, now you can take your permanent marker. And when you use your permanent marker, I highly suggest that you go in and you outline. So you start by going outlining, you trace your edge all the way through. And once you kind of have the outline in, you can go in and you can add your color. But take your time, this marker is kind of running out, but you can see, but you take your time and you're gonna do that all the way around and you're also going to um, marker in that center. So that's how you do falling background number two. Take your time, don't rush, have fun.